Hi, I'm Anna Preeby and I live in Muncie, Indiana. <laughs> okay, we're going to do squats, sumo squats, and Leanne can talk about the difference. So first, a squat. Okay, just straighten it. Sure. Mm -hmm. Can you sit back? Back on. It's too deep. A little bit of the same thing is going on, so I'm going to turn sideways just a tiny bit. So bend the knees earlier. You know what? She's such a dancer. Okay, bend the knees. Uh huh. Because if you don't bend the knees early enough, the knees are going to go forward too. So bend the knees. So sit back. Okay. There you go. I'm going to hold you. Oh. So now push down into the balls of your feet and your big toe and get some stability there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's better. Come all the way up. And one thing that people do in class with squats is they squat and then they don't come all the way up and then they leave flexion right here, which in time is tiring on the low back. The function of the glutes is to flex and extend at the hip joint. So remember in old age, you get a weak tuck. You don't need to do that. But you want to come all the way up so you're going to stand as tall as you can and bring your hips under you at the top. Mm -hmm. Let's do a sumo squat. So a sumo squat is sort of halfway. Yeah, and so even less turnout for a sumo squat. Mm -hmm. And when you sit, you should be able to tuck your butt under, but be more of a squat. So you really need to bring your toes in more, and maybe heels out more. There you go. So just think sumo, sit into it. You've got teeny tiny feet. I do. Good, so that's more sumo. And again, sitting back with a little bit of arch in your low back. Now sit back more. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bend your knees. Yeah, and then come back up. So squat is here, sumo is here, plie is there, and the knees push back. In a sumo squat, the knees don't push back. Okay, so we'll do plie. <laughs> and you can face this way if you're getting nervous about the edge here. Yeah. This one will be a great square. Oh, I have one. Well, I'm... Mm -hmm. So, yes. Good. Can you come back up? So in a plie, the toes are turned out the most. And down. And then watch this. So we're going to lift your chest and tuck your butt under. Remember that strain, we're gonna pull forward and then press your knees back. So we're working hips forward, knees back. So you're abducting the legs and tucking under. Almost like you're putting your butt in a box, right? So you're, you're here and you're gonna abduct and tuck. Put your butt in a box. So as you're pushing down enough, you want your knees to go back. And that's what you felt forward. Just up. And then push up your heels from all the way up. So as you go down, the knees go back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not good. And you see how that heel wants to come up? It's, it's trying to come up, push it down. Yeah, it's much better. Much better. And all the way up. There's all the muscles that don't work. Yeah, yeah. Then you're going to push up all the way to your foot. Yep. But not my knees because it's going trouble. Yeah. And a lot of that is just getting all this, doing the right thing. So pushing back, tucking under, really grounding your whole foot. You know, I think for years, we just grow up with people to push it to your heel, push it to your heel, push it to your heel, that everybody thinks more is better, so they're rocking back, and you need your big toes. So we do a, a lot of Bikram yoga, and a lot of what you need to know about your big toes, so it's there for balance, and to evenly distribute your body weight over your foot. What the industry, fitness industry is trying to get at is, don't go forward into your toes, go back into your heels, makes sense. But if you lift your big toes up, you're unstable. So you've got to sort of start to learn to push down to that big toe, and that's going to help stabilize your knees. It's going to get your inner thigh more involved. And you'll just feel more stable if you're pushing into your big toe. I felt all of those in my legs where I never feel it. Well, good. Yeah. Let's do the, um, the, the transition from squat to sumo to plie again and look at the difference. You want to put a little bit of weight? Sure. We'll give you, yeah. And you can face forward this time. Okay. And then this is a little funky about this platform. It's like, <laughs> All right, so we're going to squat. Toes are forward, perfect. Back, yes, and up. So bend the knees and push back. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, then. Bend the knees and push back. No pull. Look that. Uh huh. Bend, 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 sit, sit. Yeah. Go again. So as if she were going to sit in a chair, uh -huh. now back all the way back up, and come back to the chair. And that's when you all the way back, 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 back. Get it? Yep, 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 yep. Push your big toe down. Yeah, back up. Yes. So you'll smooth that out. 
and the wall will help you as well. So you get on the wall, push back, and you've got some support behind you. So then you start working on the other things. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you want, you kind of just step out like a rock. No. Uh -huh. It's just, yeah, that's probably perfect. Yeah, and just down and up. And so really, it's just a squat. Everything's going to line up right here. Make sure it's that. Yes. Yeah. And then arch your upper body back while you pull your belly button. Pull the, pull the tailbone forward. And that's going to engage the core too. And then the plie is going to help this one. Yeah. And just like I was saying before, if you didn't work on your range of motion, don't go that low while you're perfecting these things. Mm -hmm. that, that will come. And then plie, you just step out. But a lot of times in plie, people, um, in plie, when ballerinas do it, and what we do is a tiny bit different, but you don't, people don't get their heels wide enough. They'll turn their toes way out, but take their heels wide enough. As you go down, press your knees back. And that keep going. Yep, that's it. Press your knees back. Knees back, tailbone under. Almost like you're like scooping. Okay. Uh -huh. And push into your toes and push hard into your heels. Long in your body. Yeah. And a lot of this, too, would become easier as you uh, foam roll and get your hip flexors a little bit more opened up. They'll start to allow you to open up like that. 